Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we wanted to talk about customer service and how to deal with upset customers. Yes. So the first part of it is, is going to be all about having good customer service. And the second part of this video is going to be addressing um, like bad reviews and how to handle stuff like that. So uh, let's talk about good customer service. What is that? What does that start? Well, that's going to start with what kind of uh, expectations you have on your products, um, ship from shipping times to how they're made, how the materials are, or whatever. So the, um, a lot of times, customers will reach out to you before they even buy something. So uh, you want to make sure you actually reply to them in a timely manner. Yes, you don't want to wait too long because they're going to think that you don't even care. So if you don't even care, you haven't, they haven't even bought something from you. You know, they might not, they might think that you're not going to give them a good experience, you know, even buying from you. So you definitely, you know, want to reply in a timely manner. So speaking of replying, if, if the conversation is going good or not, always thank your customer for visiting your store because they could have chosen any other mm -hmm. online um, store, but somehow they managed to come yes. across your store and that's a blessing that's that's an amazing thing so you need to give them value because they're the ones ultimately who give you value and yeah so that is something that I implemented since I first since we first started our Etsy shop was hey you know thank you for checking out our shop just you know like he said you want to make them feel welcome and appreciative of them coming to your store because you are just one store out of many exactly number three tip that we have is ship out sooner so you know you might have your settings set that you're gonna ship out you know within two to four business days well you know what maybe you can try to ship it out within three days or within two days if you're if you're able to because they're gonna appreciate when they receive their item a day or two days earlier than anticipated and another thing that I wanted to bring up if there's a question that they have for you and you don't know the answer don't don't over promise anything just just say hey I don't know um, I can find out for you mm -hmm. whatever it is that you need to find out for them but don't just promise your customer any type of false expectation from either shipping times maybe they have a, a big order or maybe they have a special request on mm -hmm. certain items and you're not sure if that's gonna uh, be possible or not you know, don't don't over promise your customers. If anything, under promise your yeah. customers and over deliver. And be for your honest, customers. you know, be honest and then be like, you know what, I'm not it's you know, it's very last minute and I'm not able to fulfill that order because you know, of certain, you know, the time frame. So just be honest with them and just be like, you know what, um, I'm actually not gonna be able to do it. Thank you for, you know, reaching out and you know, I apologize. And then, you know, they might not order with you now, but in the future, that might be a potential client that they're gonna be like, you know, let's go back to that shop. Exactly. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is how to handle a bad review, because that's part of it, guys. Well, how to handle with upset customers. Yeah, so upset gonna, customers and happen. bad reviews. Exactly. It's gonna happen. So dealing with an upset customer when, when they leave you a bad review. So this is, you know, after they've already left the review and they didn't try to reach out to you you know what we've done what we recommend is reaching out to the customer and trying to see if there is something that you can do sometimes they might be really upset maybe they didn't realize what they ordered mm -hmm. uh, was the wrong thing or maybe it didn't come out the way in their mind that they're hoping to see the product or something so you know always show them some kind of empathy on their situation because at the end of the day they did spend money on your shop so you want to make sure that you can try to at least make them happy and still try to accommodate them that might be from either shipping another item out uh, or maybe offering them a partial a refund. partial refund mm -hmm. um, or a discount on their next order so what happens when you have tried to reach out to them and they don't want to change the 
review or they don't change their review and or maybe you did help them out you know or maybe they don't want any solution so what you can do is you can publicly comment and you know just just you know in a nice way just say you know i i tried to reach out to this person and i did my best to try to you know to accommodate find, them. accommodate them the reality is you only have one chance to set an impression on a customer and that's a new customer and also treat your existing customers the exact same way no matter what because you can lose them at any time to another business so as long as you're doing your best to show that you're trying to help their situation maybe it wasn't a good situation for them again just show that you're, you, you care about the outcome at the end of the day mm -hmm. you, you can only spend so much time and energy on mm -hmm. on handling those kind of situations but that's really the key thing the fact yeah. that you want to try to help them out because if if you just get bad reviews and you're, not, and you're not and you're not replying back to them and and you're not uh, you know trying to reach out to them eventually people do see that you don't care about your bad reviews yeah that's so true. that's that's a huge aspect yeah. of customer service that gets yeah. very overlooked yeah and don't get stressed out if you get you know you know one or two reviews because that's like a, that's feedback for you you know that's you can you can you know re like analyze and see you know well what am i doing wrong is there something that i can improve on so don't don't get stressed out don't don't you know don't get discouraged by a bad review just you know learn from it and you know like we said try to reach out to them and see if you can you know have a solution for them since we we've even pointed them at other shops mm -hmm. we, we, yeah, we in, in do case that too. in case they had a, a different product that we may that, not carry yeah exactly mm -hmm. so that's fun too because now they see that you care about their outcome in the long run yes so you know i hope you guys got some value out of this and uh we just hope that people in general improve their customer service experience regardless if you're an online platform or retail environment whatever that is everyone needs to be treated with respect and and also they need to have some kind of value to them mm -hmm. because they are again walking into your domain they're walking into your area and they could have gone somewhere else so always keep yeah. that in mind that they're very important for your success or else you don't have any chance of getting success yes well i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to comment below and we can answer them for you i hope you guys have a blessed day bye bye guys thank you